Internationally, liver diseases account for 1.6% of the global disease burden. In Egypt, chronic liver diseases are mostly caused by hepatitis B and C. Recent estimates of hepatitis C prevalence range from 13 to 22 percent. Liver disease is the second common cause of death in Egypt, representing more than 10 percent of total mortality. Among other institutes managing liver disease in Egypt, Theodore Bilhart's Research Institute strives to promote research and development in liver disease management so as to offer patients the required advanced medical services. Immediate and effective interventions are always needed for liver disease patients. At Theodor Bilhart's Research Institute, the intensive care unit, the blood bank operating on a 24-hour basis, and the therapeutic endoscopy unit offer life-saving measures in case of emergencies as gastrointestinal bleeding and hepatic coma. Still, orthotopic liver transplantation is the only curative treatment for end-stage liver disease. However, the high risks and costs of this major surgical interference and the shortage of the organ donation make the search for proper control an early diagnosis more likely address targets. Health education is one of the main pillars in liver disease control. As one of the control measures, the Health Education Unit at Theodor Bilhart's Research Institute conducts group discussions to raise the critical awareness using problem-posing discussion starters at the level of the outpatient clinic. In fact, Theodor Bilhart's Research Institute is best positioned to tackle liver disease research and management. The high quality caliber of its 20 research departments in terms of staff and equipment, together with the bonus of its 300 bed hospital, allow for integrated basic and applied research clinical practices, and therapy evaluations. The Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering Unit allowed for the lab-scale proceeding to pilot-scale production of several recombinant biopharmaceutical proteins with interferon gamma heading the list. The Cell Therapy Program developed in the Tissue Engineering and Cell-Based Therapy Unit addresses the treatment of patients with end-stage liver failure. Preclinical animal studies were conducted using hepatocytes and different types of cord blood stem cells. Since liver transplantation remains to be a main target of the Institute, a transplantation immunology unit has been recently established to perform high-resolution tissue typing for donors and patients undergoing transplantation. For early detection of disease complications, research conducted at the electron microscopy department focuses on the early subcellular changes accompanying hepatic infections, fibrosis, malignant transformation, as well as regeneration after stem cell transplantation. Moreover, the drug discovery unit of the Institute has been identified as an excellent center in the field of anti-trematodal R&D by the African Network for Drugs and Diagnostics Innovation, the ANDI. The unit aims to discover lead health products for prevalent diseases. The Institute's Schistosome Biological Supply Center supplies biological material including all life cycle stages of schistosome and other trematodes to the Institute's researchers and to more than 20 international organizations. Theodor Bilhart's Research Institute 
values international cooperation for the sustainable progress of research and development. The concept of open innovation environment is a very good concept to adopt because if you are thinking of shared resources, shared resources regarding expertise, shared resources regarding facilities, equipments, widening uh, your linking to the European community, to the Mediterranean countries, this is going to be a uh, very uh, fruitful. The FP7 program era wide initiative aims to strengthen capacities of research institutes in the ENP countries for more coherent research. Tebera, as one of the ERA-wide projects, is a role model of how AU partnership and cooperation offer an innovative approach to tackle liver disease, a banging health problem in Egypt, and an identified European community concern of mutual interest to combat. The horizontal capacity building that Tebera availed, together with the leveraging of capabilities through visits to well-developed European liver centers, place Theodor Bilhart's Research Institute treating doctors on the forefront. Tebera was not only addressing healthcare professionals, but also non-scientists, including industry, NGOs, and above all patients, in order to raise their awareness regarding this health problem. Indeed, engaging key stakeholders in landscaping of the recent analysis of the National Liver Disease State of the Art enhanced clustering of liver researchers and submission of research projects. The solid background developed by this analysis and the potential of the coordinating institute served to develop a five-year strategic action plan to establish Theodor Bilhart's Research Institute as a competence center in liver research. Moreover, this analysis provided the Egyptian research community with policies, programs, funding needs, gaps, and priority needs. When being well informed, parliamentarians and political officials can bring about the necessary change. The Tebera team had in common one cherished objective, that is, the well-being of the patient.